One day, there were horses walking in a desert. During their journey, they felt tired because of the difficulty in walking. And while they were walking, they met camels. They walked together in the middle of the desert. They walked together to find something to eat as they moved away. While the horses were walking, no matter how fast they can run, they still struggled to adjust to the sun their, their feet were walking on. While the horses had difficulty walking due to the deep sand, the camels stepped quickly because they were used to it in that way. Until they saw a corner where there was a lot of food, they were happy because they could finally eat. But in that place, the two organisms experienced a struggle. But the camel was able to cope because it was their nature to be strong. Meanwhile, the horses could no longer take the step of stepping into the deepening sand to eat. So, they got weak and eventually died. Meanwhile, the camels continued to travel and they survived that struggle because they are naturally strong. The horses are not able to step on the deep sand because when a horse moves in the sand, his pet lock joint moves in a way they don't normally move. This can cause inflammation, sandy conditions are harder on the joints that hard surface. There are several types of injuries that commonly occur in horses re ridden in deep sand. While the camel can run on sand easily because they have wide feet which help them to balance their weight on loose sand and wider feet gives a larger surface area also. That's why we can see in the footprint that when it comes to the end, only the big organisms or the big footprint is left because the small organisms could no longer fight the struggles to survive. We can observe that the two sets of footprints meet in a single path, as we can see in diagram 2, and in diagram 3, they, they mix. We can see that the small footprints were gone. Therefore, we can conclude that the theory of natural selection is dependent on the organism on that area on how they can survive. The organism that has the ability to adapt to nature will remain. So, based on the story I made, the small footprints is the footprint of the horse, while the big footprints are the footprints of the camel. That's why, because horses can't adjust because their feet are naturally like that, it's not really possible for them to survive. Meanwhile, it's not impossible for camels to survive because they have strong feet that can go through no matter how deep the sand.